to introduce uh, Ponsap Tulifan. I'm, I'm not exactly sure either. It says here that uh, she's had more than 30 years of experience working with women and informal workers uh, for uh, Home Net Thailand. And looking at her, it's hard to believe. Uh, so I, I suggest, Clarion, that we uh, ascertain the truth about that. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. It's uh, make me happy <laughs> and have energy to to do the presentation. Uh, I would like to say thanks uh, for the invitation. In fact, I felt you're young but short. <laughs> okay. yeah. In fact, I felt very nervous when I got the invitation because. Uh, to be here is uh, like a, this is like a workshop of the academicians, atmospheres, and I, is very small person, come from Home Net Thailand. Home Net Thailand is a, a informal workers organization. Uh, we are, even though we work for more than twenty years, <laughs> but uh, we are very small organization. And I, I will give you some uh, experience from our activities, our project that we try to integrate us uh, into the regular system of the, that uh, Dr. Sumsak mentioned this morning. Firstly, I will give you a pictures of the health situation of informal workers. Based on the health checkup of 416 home based workers, including dawns makers, sweeteners, fish producers, spirit house makers, and cleaner of fish sauce containers in one district in Potaram district of Rajburi province in 2009 2010. The findings are as follows. Show is that 30 and 40 percent of the workers suffer from high blood pressure, state one or state two, and 25 percent suffer from high blood sugar level. And in terms of work related problems, 60 to 50 to 60 percent suffer from chronic muscle pain, like back pain and leg pain, and 60 percent suffer from blurs, distorted vision, and Astigmatism, 10% particular among dawn makers who are a group of work, workers exposed to noise, suffer hearing impairments, and 25% uh, are uh, faced with the lungs were reduced. Uh, from this uh, data, it's confirmed that all is one of the big issues of informal workers is reduce their productivity and their income. It needs to be concerned among stakeholders. Uh, in terms of statistic, general statistics in Thailand, uh, two presenters from Thailand have already mentioned that. But I want to raise again that in terms of our number, informal workers, including agricultural workers, is two thirds of the total workforce in Thailand. And uh, from statistics, National Statistics Office, it showed that 3.5 million of informal workers in a year, or 9,589 informal workers a day, they are exposed to hazards, which include work accidents and injuries from, uh, many, uh, from uh, many ways. Huh? And then the, they are also face a problem in working environment issue like improper economics, exposure to noise, dust, and smoke, and other things, inadequate lighting, and their unsafe environments, like uh, they're exposed to toxic chemicals, unsafe machineries and tools, and hazards uh, to ears and eyes. Uh, Although the national health security system covers the medical treatment and health promotion and prevention activities of informal workers, but knowledge on work-related diseases and preventive measures 
still lags behind. Uh, I want to tell you some about our experience in terms of why we uh, involve or we address these issues. How, why we work uh, on host, why uh, it's very interesting for us because uh, in 2001, uh, we got support from Health System Research Institute to study about host problem from sick producer groups like a uh, gem casting, probably the uh, diamond from uh, South Africa. No? We work on this, on gem casting, on bronze making, and fishing that's fi finishing, traditional cloth weaving, and garment sewing, and tomato seed produ production. And in 2002, we developed wish manuals for training home-based workers with ILOs and uh, Mahidon universities. And in 2004 and 2000 to 2007, we got support by Health Promotion Foundation to promote us among home-based workers in 17 provinces in Thailand. And 2009 and 2010, we got support from WIGO through MDG3 projects to draw up our lesson learned on OHS promotion experience. From this experience, you can see that uh, this is what the, 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 uh, the, the tools huh, that we produce with ILO and the Mahidon universities. Huh. We can say that we gain some experience from our, for in, in promotion us, for informal workers, we know about the contacts, who we can, we should contact, like the government authorities, uh, uh, like all upon organization and uh, uh, in terms of uh, other academicians from university, we contact with uh, four or five university to work on, on this issue. And the most important thing is we know that uh, uh, the framework to work on us promotion. We plan that uh, uh, if, when, we, when we didn't get the support from the uh, health promotion foundation. We think that we should scale up because we are from a uh, small organization. Our experience will be better if we can integrate to a regular system. So we try to integrate uh, our experiences to the regular system. Uh, and it's lucky that uh, in our uh, in the UC system in Thailand, it's very good that uh, we have a like a, they promote participatory system and they, they, we participate. We get the opportunity to be elected as a representative from worker group in National Health Security Board. And uh, we approach the Na National Health Security Office to address all issues for informal worker into regular health system and uh, the organization and SSO agreed to support in 2012. At present, Home Net Thailand is implementing a pilot project to support all promotion under National Health Security System through a scheme called Promotion and Prevention or PNP for workers. We, we negotiate with the organization. They said that if uh, we, uh, they support us in terms of informal workers, and at the same time, we have to help them to work in for more workers, and we we receive that deal because we want to to indicate these issues. Uh -huh. uh, for this project, our objective is we provide we want to provide us knowledge and promotion PNP activity for informal workers. We want to support informal workers to access more to local health fund or community fund that uh, Dr. Somsak mentioned this morning and we help them, facilitate them to spend the fund controlling, controlling work-related health list. The fund is initiated by National Health Security Office for PNP activities and co-pay by local authority office. And we try to facilitate that the implementation of OS promotion activity by family health care unit. 
At that time, we target for 12 district hospitals in Thailand for three years. This is our strategy. Huh? We try to raise knowledge and skill on us for informal workers, and we try to facilitate that the service provider the, that uh, help them, that facilitate them to provide knowledge on work-related disease, do medical records and services. And uh, at the same time, if they want to change their behavior or they have to change their uh, working environments, uh, we try to encourage or support the informal worker to asset to community fund because community fund is for P and P activities. Like uh, we, uh, in the beginning, we work closely with ILO in terms of which uh, tools. But uh, uh, when we implemented, we use uh, several tools: body mapping. Uh, jobs analysis, uh, uh, hazards analysis. We do. Uh, we use uh, many uh, many tools like body mappings or uh, health check up. Like uh, the, this is healing check. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try to involve all the stakeholders. You can see that we have a P PCU is primary care unit. You have to work with the hospital. We also have to work with the sub-district office because we want to raise the issue of informal worker and OSH. And we have, we have to work with the home-based home worker groups. And at the same time, we, if we can identify that uh, who are the employers like in small enterprise, we will try to involve them in the activities. This is our working process. We start from Providing training on all knowledge to service provider at PCU normally is uh, when we start, uh, they are health providers. But uh, when we talk about all, uh, normally they will ask for additional training from the hospitals. So we start from this and then we try to set up the OSC committee, working committee. This is involve all the stakeholders in this committee because we have to learn together what is odd and how to, how to work on this. And we do the survey working environment or list assessment. And from list assessments, uh, we will uh, develop the activity for home-based workers like health shake up, training, uh, improving their working environment or chain working behavior and set up safety rules. They have to set, set up their safety rules uh, that we have, we have to change or anything. Uh. And at the same time, we will try to identify us volunteer, probably the um, uh, leader, home worker leader, or uh, health volunteers, huh? that they will try to help us to follow up the the, the behavior or the, the, that uh, our home based workers changing because we need to follow up time to time, and at the same time, uh, we try to find, we try to select the best practice or good practice and set up at the, like a model's houses that they have a very good uh, improvement in terms of environments and working, in, working environment and their behaviors. And uh, at the hospitals, after this, uh, after trainings, uh, the PCU who work uh, closely with us, uh, we prepare a family folder. The family folder will talk about their occupation and what is the health problems. And at the hospital level, they will set up the OS clinics. Like so, uh, once a week that you can refer to that the clinic. After complete two years, about uh, 1,000 informal workers gain knowledge on OS and they have changed their behavior and improve their working environment to ensure occupational health and safety. And uh, we find out that only five hospitals from 12 hospitals are actively, and they can function, they can collaborate with sub-district offices working to provide all knowledge and skill to home-based workers. But other seven hospitals, they have limitation to promote us due to their management policy, policy or their lack of interest because this is like a extra work for the uh, the PUC, PCU or the hospital. 
Only one hospital has capacity to work as a node to support other hospitals and other PCU. Uh, the reasons why there can be an can be a potential hospital because there is an augment nurse who is really keen on the issues and they work for a long time on this issue and therefore the knowledge knowledgeable and experienced staff on OS promotion is the key to success for us. Huh? And uh, we can increasing interest of sub district office to work with working working egg operation because normally uh, the sub district they have the fund they have the community fund but normally they will work with elderly uh, or health issue or pregnancy pregnancy women but uh, for the working age it's very important they don't know how to work with the working age people in terms of constraints most hospitals lack staff with sufficient knowledge and skill on OS promotion. This is very crucial for us. And uh, OS promotion is not, this, there is no incentive or no motivation because OS is, promotion is not a KPI in assessing the standard of health services. Health practitioners who normally perform under high workload, so they are inclined to dismiss OS related work. They don't need, interested to work on this issue. So those implementing the lo local health funding not have sufficient knowledge and experience in promoting us of informal worker, uh, as I told you already. Sir. And the project aim to facilitate the health system that had qualified staff and budget allocated to indicate us promotion into regular P and P work. The budget is already allocated to the PCU and the hospital. But some hospitals, they mistakenly assume that the project is like a special project that uh, would provide budget to achieve their integration of OS promotion. They don't want to spend the budget that they already get. Mm -hmm. And uh, scatter and location of target area require much resources. So we uh, plan again, re-planning again that uh, uh, with the National Health Security Office, we adjust the plan for year three for this year that uh, we will focus only, um, we will pay much effort, we will be invested in supporting a position hospital to become a node with the capacity to provide support, particularly in terms of personal capacity, knowledge, and information system that are available of us promotion. We will raising awareness and encourage participation of National Health Security Office at so level or leg at regional level to estimate the issue and support us promotion by we try to encourage them to involve in the project. And we try to disseminate. After this, we plan that we will disseminate knowledge and experiences gained from the project to National Health Security Office from other uh, regional hospitals. For conclusion, I, it should underline that us for informal worker is not as less significant than us for informal workers. It needs to be addressed now. We have to say that it should be now because two thirds of the uh, workforce is informal workers, and uh, if they have a health problem, what is the uh, productivity and their income? So we should address. This issue now. Us promotion would contribute to health promotion and prevention of major disease inflicting in informal worker, which would in turn reduce sickness of the working poor. And uh, urgent support is, need, is needed to steer the current health system toward actively promoting us for informal workers. And it is crucial to build capacity in terms of us knowledge and orientation of health service providers and continually develop body of knowledge on OS promotion for informal workers to varying approaches, including organizing forums for knowledge sharing. Like, uh, I can conclude that uh, networking and sharing is very important. We need this in many ways huh? because uh, uh, because of Vigo, that we can learn from each other and we can scale up, we can think up in terms of uh, policy levels. 
So I think this is very important for, for sharing. Mm -hmm. Thank you.